Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my current favourites, whatever you call these videos. Um, let me just say, I don't have like that many products to talk about today, like at all. This is a very small favourites video. But um, what I am going to talk about, I absolutely adore and I've been using these products like every single time I've done my makeup. So you know I love them. Um, but also they're really like not new products, like they're not like new releases. Like a lot of people do these videos and they talk about like hot products that have just come out. These are just old products but I'm using them all the time. So I wanted to talk about them anyway. Um, I'm just going to jump straight in and just grab the first thing here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I think that's what it's called anyway. Yeah, Infallible 24 Hour Pro Matte. Whatever you want to call this foundation, it is freaking amazing. Like this foundation, I have spoken about it. It's in my favourite foundations video. It's in a lot of my videos but I absolutely love it and I think that it is just so well made like the formula the ingredients like everything about this foundation is really really good and i think that it gives like an amazing look and finish to the skin it's a matte foundation it gives more of like this velvety matte look i don't know it's really nice and what i like to do with it is i like to mix it with foundations i like to mix a dewy foundation and this foundation together and it creates this beautiful like canvas oh my god it looks stunning um but yeah anyway i do really love this foundation I kind of use the shade Radiant Beige and Vanilla. I kind of just mix around foundations when I use whatever. I kind of don't really have like a specific colour that I have like no foundations that actually match my skin tone. I just kind of mix a few foundations to kind of get my colour. But anyway, I absolutely adore this foundation and I highly, highly recommend it. This is probably my favourite foundation from the drugstore. So that is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. The next product that I'm going to talk about is the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. Now I know this released a really long time ago and I personally got it a really long time ago but I just have to talk about it because I really think that this palette is worth investing in and I think it is an amazing, amazing eyeshadow palette that everybody should own. This is definitely one of like my favourite eyeshadow like palettes in my collection. I also really love the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia, but this one it comes so close to it. Like I adore this palette. And the eyeshadow quality, you guys, is absolutely like phenomenal. Like I don't know, I also have his um, Jeffree's Beauty Killer palette and I do like that palette but nowhere near as much as this one and also the quality of the eyeshadows in the palettes are so they're pretty different like these ones are on another level absolutely incredible like just to die for like you touch them and they're just like butter these ones are absolutely amazing his first palette I hardly really use it so I'm thinking about giving it away but this palette I use all the time it is such a staple it's got so many matte shadows in so many different colors so many neutral colors freaking love it I will swatch like let's just swatch this one called dominatrix oh that's <laughs> If you want to invest in this palette, 100% is worth it. Another thing that I've been using so much recently is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Now, this is what it looks like. It has a contour shade and a highlight shade. When I first got this, I got this a really long time ago, I was obsessed with the contour shade and I still love the contour shade. But at the moment, I'm obsessed with the Kevin Aquan sculpting powders, you know, those things. They are just the best contour shades ever but anyway at the moment I am loving the highlight out of this it is so beautiful it gives the most beautiful natural glow I used it in a recent makeup tutorial on my channel and it just looks so beautiful like my highlight looks amazing it is an amazing highlight shade the powder is so soft and finely milled that it literally looks I don't know, it looks natural, but it looks not like a natural highlight. I can't really explain what I, like, it, it is. The formula is so unusual. It's so soft and, like, buttery, but at the same time, it still gives the most intense, intense highlight. So I will swatch this on the back of my hand so you can see. So that's it there. Um, it's just beautiful. Like, I can't, you just have to get it if you, if you're, if you love highlights there. Mmm, so pretty. So that is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I definitely, definitely think it's worth getting because both of the shades are beautiful in it. Okay, so my next favourite is a little bit random, but I have these blushes in my Giant Z palette and these are all Makeup Geek blushes. But in particular, I've been running my brush literally just like this along this top row of peach blushes. And I absolutely could not believe what my cheeks look like after I did that. They look so beautiful. The 
colour when you just run it along these peach blushes is so beautiful and I want a blush like that. Like I want them to just create all of those together, put it in a pan, I'm good. Like I need that little combination. It is so beautiful, I've just been obsessed with it. Whenever I want to do like a peachy kind of cheek, which I do really often, I just run these, run my brush along this row and I'm obsessed with it. So this one right here is called Infatuation. This one is um, Romance. This one is Smitten and this one is Bliss. I absolutely adore it and the, the formula of Makeup Geek blushes are really good. They have like minimal fallout and they do, the only thing with Makeup Geek blushes is I feel that they don't last that long. Like I feel like they fade away. So it's always better with Makeup Geek blushes to apply quite a bit, quite a bit more than you usually would, sorry. Makeup Geek blushes in general are a really good formula. So I any of them, if you like pinks better than peaches, do whatever, but I just, in general, this row together creates the most stunning, stunning cheek. So my next favourite are just NYX lip liners in general. I have been using this one for a really long time, the NYX lip liner in natural. I have like four backups of this because I absolutely love the colour so much, but not just that, the formula of NYX lip liners are my favourite lip liners probably in the makeup industry at the moment. They are so good. Like, I have a MAC Pro Longwear lip liner. No, like these to me are the best lip liners ever. So they are so cheap, they are so affordable and the colour range that you can do is absolutely amazing. There was another colour that I was like obsessed with, I think it was mauve or moi, what, whatever you say, mauve, it's mauve. I think I think it's that one. Anyway, I was obsessed with that for ages and then I lost it, so it's a bit of a shame. But I'm gonna get more of these because the formula of these is just incredible. I will swatch like one on the back of my hand. Oh my god, like that that was just like a they the formula is amazing. Okay, so I have two lip products to talk about. The first one is MAC Honey Love. This is so good to talk about this because I've literally owned this for so long. This is one of my first MAC lipsticks, it's like a little stub now. Anyway, I have been wearing this so much recently, like so, so, so much, and I forgot how much that I personally love to wear lipsticks. Like, I was wearing liquid lipsticks for such a long time, especially to go out. If I was ever gonna go out somewhere, I would always wear a liquid lipstick. I didn't trust lipsticks anymore. I was like, no, they're gonna wear off. I'm gonna have to top them up. I was kind of just, I felt like a liquid lipstick was easier. But then I started to, kind of dip back into the pool of lipsticks and lip glosses and realize how much that I absolutely love them. And anyway, I went out, like a, this was a while ago, probably about four weeks ago, and I was wearing Honey Love and like a lip gloss on top. And I have never had that many compliments on my lipstick ever. Like everyone was saying like, what is on your lips? What is that? And what, what is that lip product? And I was like, it's Honey Love. And everyone was like, really? So MAC Honey Love is such a, be like it's such a staple. Everybody needs to own this one. If you're going to own a MAC lipstick, Honey Love is so beautiful. And I was just blown away with how many compliments that I got. And I have been just wearing it so, so, so much. Like you can see it's so small now. Like I need to get another one of these and I hope that they never ever discontinue Honey Love. Um, I'll put it on the back of my hand, but it's just the perfect nude pink. It's like a, it's not even a pink really. It's more of like a nudie mauve sort of color. I love it, especially with the gloss on top. My next lipstick is Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Blush. Now when I first ordered this, because I had always heard that Dose of Colors lipsticks were really good quality and the liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors are definitely my favorite formula. I also really love the Stiller formula of liquid lipstick, but probably Dose of Colors is like just a little, little bit more. I like it a little bit more. So I wanted to try their lipsticks and I have wanted to try them for ages. So I finally ordered two and I got this shade blush and I also got another one. But when I first got this and I swatched it and I was like, oh shit, this is so pink and I am never gonna wear it. But I tried it on in a makeup tutorial. I wore it in a makeup tutorial, the previous one to this video. And I fell in love with it after I wore, like I wore that makeup. I went out like with my mum and I was obsessed with the lip combination. I put this on with a lip gloss on top and it looked so beautiful. It looked so girly and so feminine and it just looked absolutely beautiful. And it, this lipstick quality, you guys, is phenomenal. The quality of these lipsticks are bomb. They last so long. They are so pigmented. You literally need like three, like no, two swipes like on the bottom and the top and you're like full coverage. So the lipstick quality is amazing. I'll put it on here so you guys can see. They are just 
so beautiful but yes this really scared me when I first got it like I swatched it and I was like holy fuck this is so pink it's like a Barbie girl pink I'm never gonna wear that but I actually absolutely adore it so this is definitely a favorite and so is honey love I love lipsticks I thought I was always gonna be a lipstick person but not anymore I'm back on the lipstick train Okay, and my last two products are kind of like non-makeup related. Well, this one actually is. Um, a while ago, like I I did a makeup look with like Inglot Gel Liner. If you don't know what that is, it's like the hardest eyeliner to get off your eyes. And I also used House of Lashes glue in like the black one. Oh my god, I could not get my eye makeup off to save my life. Like I was using my favorite wipes, which are these simple wipes. And it, nothing was working. Like, I was in, like, agonizing pain, like, trying to get my eye makeup off. And anyway, mum was like, Demi, use this. And I was like, what is it? And she was like, it's Clinique All About Eyes. And I had no idea what this was. And when I was younger, like, I used to look in my mum's, like, you know, drawers and see, like, Clinique and Estee Lauder. And I always kind of branded them as, like, old ladies brands. But no, like, I now, now, me, personally, I love those two brands, Clinique and Estee Lauder. Like, they're so expensive, but I freaking love them. Anyway, mum was like, Demi, use this to take off your eye makeup. And it says reduces puffs, circles and puffs. I don't actually think it's marketed as, like, a uh, eye, like, makeup remover. But I used it to take off my makeup. And I used two swipes, like, just two little swipes to get it off. It was gone. Like, this was absolutely a godsend. Like, I couldn't believe how amazing this was. So, whenever I do, like, a full-on bold wing and, like, I use really intense, like, eyelash glue or whatever, this is the only thing that will get off my eye makeup without hurting my eyes. So, it is absolutely incredible and it has saved me, like, a lot of time because I'm usually, like, sitting there with an eye makeup remover for, like, so long. This literally took, like, two seconds and it was gone. And my final product that I have to talk about is this hair oil. This is, it says that it is a weightless oil plus lifting tonic. Now, I don't really use it for that. I kind of just use it because it makes my hair look and smell so beautiful. Like, I spray this on my hair and my hair is, like, super shiny and it's, like, glossy and it smells absolutely divine. Now, I can't really find what the brand is called or maybe I'm not looking properly but I will leave what it's called obviously I'll leave all the products down below um but I absolutely love this just for what it looks like it makes my hair I haven't got it on right now because I'm saving it but it looks so beautiful it looks so healthy and so shiny and glossy if you don't like that look then you won't like it but I do and it smells the smell is absolutely divine so that is the weightless oil plus lifting tonic I'm not sure what the brand is called but I will obviously leave it down below so they are all of my favorites for like the past I don't know. I only ever do these videos when I have like a little compilation of like things that I've been loving because I don't know about you, but I never have like favorites every single month. I usually just kind of enjoy things over a period of time. It doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't have a time limit on it. I just have been loving these products, so I wanted to share them with you guys. Um, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at Demi.Rawling. I would love it if you did. I love Instagram so much. Um, and I also have Snapchat. If you don't know, um, you will see a lot of my dog, a lot of my drunken friend snapchats um my snapchat is demi rolling so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um give it a thumbs up as well because it does help out my channel a lot and i why am i looking down so much there's no script or anything i don't know why i'm looking down okay i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you soon bye